Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, Dr. Henry Wells, board certified plastic surgeon from Wells Plastic Surgery and Skin Care, is here to talk about eye rejuvenation. Welcome to the show, my friend. It's great to be here, Tori. Good to see you. I always think there's a lot of options out there for men and women when it comes to eye surgery, not just surgical, but also non-surgical. So today we're going to talk about surgical. Exactly. Why do people seek out having eye surgery to begin with? Well, well, Troy, you know, the first thing people see when they look at you are your eyes. They're the focal point of the face. That's true. And one of the first things people notice as they get older are puffiness and wrinkles around the eyes. And that's one of the first things that people see me for, facial rejuvenation. Okay, so I'm going to actually say the word incorrectly. What is the medical term for eye surgery? Blepharoplasty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I'd, but I'm not even going to try and say it. But let's talk about what it actually is. Well, a blepharoplasty is a procedure that removes excess skin from the eyes or for the upper and lower eyelids, and it removes excess fat from the upper eyelids and can either reposition or remove fat from the lower eyelids. Okay, so you can have just lower if exactly. need be, but sure. do you recommend having both or is it really case by case? It's case by case. Uh, some patients really have great looking lower eyelids and have extra skin in the upper eyelids and yes. they're perfect for just upper lid black. Okay, I, I think it's probably one of the best investments one could make on themselves. Explain to me about the downtime. Let's start off with the procedure to begin with. How do we prep for it? Well, the surgery is done as an outpatient procedure oh. and there's very very little prep for it. Obviously you have to good, have good eye health. We sometimes ask that our patients see their ophthalmologist for an examination oh, okay. before they have the surgery. But it's an outpatient procedure and it can take anywhere from two to three hours to do. And then the downtime, most patients with upper eyelids will go back to work after about a week. With lower eyelids, there's a tendency to swell a little bit more, so it can take a little bit longer for them to recover and go back to work. Oh, okay. So one of the things that I often think about, and I've often been told by doctors like yourself, that it's always good to take Arnica a week before as well to help with the minimal of the bruising. Well, I tell my patients to take Arnica after the surgery. Oh, do you? Yeah. And it, improves, so, so it, it increases the circulation and removes the, interesting. the bruising. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so let's talk about pricing for everyone at home. Now, it's not a crazy price, really. Two eyelids are $2,600. Exactly. That's a surgeon's fee. Now, if, depending upon where the surgery is done, whether it's in the office or in a surgical facility, the prices can vary for that. But the surgeon's fee is usually around $2,600 for two lids and uh, $3,900 for four lids. For upper and lower. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me a little bit about, we were just looking at some incredible before and after shots that we saw up on the yeah. screen while we were chatting. Now, we've talked about the surgery. You were saying about two weeks, did you say, for, yeah. for downtime. But that doesn't mean you can't get back to work. Oh, no, no. Most patients, like I said, after upper lid, <coughs> excuse me, upper lid blepharoplasty, they'll go back to work after a week. We I have our patients come in for makeup and camouflage yeah. makeup and they can go right back to work after. Let's week. touch on very softly regarding some injectables that we could do that if you're not quite there yet wanting to have the surgery but you're wanting to have a few injectables what could we do for under the eye? Well for example we use Botox to erase crow's foot wrinkles and wrinkles between yeah. the eyes we can also raise brows with Botox we use microneedling to smooth out the crepey skin and the lower eyelids we use filler to enhance the volume of the cheek, and that smooths out the junction between the lid and the cheek. So there are a number of non-surgical fillers and that's uh, for, that's injectables for, we use. That's for everyone out there that just want to an introduction into it as well. And, you know, we all know that most of those injectables now that we do around the eye, you know, apart from Botox, can last up to a year or even a little bit longer. Then they can have a conversation with you, get used to the exactly. whole idea, and then maybe you have that little spit of a surgery. I think it's fantastic. Well, great. I'm, I'm, it's the next thing that I want to do for me. I think it's just a great, great procedure. Um, we really appreciate you coming in again. If you Thanks. want to find out more information about Wells Plastic Surgery and Skin Care, there's all the information up on the screen now. Guys, head over to their website. It's a really great website. It gives you really good information. Or just give one of the office girls a call and they can set up a consultation with you. 859-255. There's his number up on the screen right now. We appreciate you coming in. We'll be right back after this short break.